How's it going gang? It's a final render here and welcome back to another episode of Fallout 76 Camp Building. We have got a truly special build for you guys today using some very unique camp items which are only available in the Atomic Shop for a very short period of time. So if you haven't got these items, I'm afraid you're going to have to wait a while for them to come back. But this is something I've wanted to do for a while. These items actually came out halfway through the last build, but I wasn't able to include them at that late stage. So if you think you'll enjoy this video, please make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel and I can't wait to see you guys tuning in to all the 76 content coming out in the next few weeks. We've got Vault Raids coming very soon and we've got some other very cool additions to the game so make sure you subscribe to the channel to get all the news and camp building in the future. Let's go! So to kick off this Fallout 76 camp building video, I needed to have a place which had an awful lot of flat space and flat ground. So I found a place which is very very cool with lots of flat space and that is just between kind of Bravo site and the mountaintop ski resort. But some of you may say, final render, haven't you built here before? Well yes, yes I have built here before. We built our lovely little cliffside mansion up here quite a long time ago because as I said, Flat areas inside Fallout 76 are actually very rare and I really needed a large amount of flat space for this project to use some of the cool items we have got from the Atomic Shop. So I hope you guys can understand why I've come here. If you guys didn't know any large amounts of flat ground, please let me know because I'm always in the market for flat ground. But it's a really cool location, we've got amazing views of Appalachia and you can even see the missile silos coming out of Site Bravo so that they can go and land on the Queen or on the White Springs. It's a very cool location and it's got an awful lot of potential for camp building. So let's go. So this entire build is going to be based around the greenhouse domes. These were part of the green thumbs pack of DLC which came out and these are actually not in the atomic shop anymore but don't worry we have seen stuff leave the atomic shop and then come back later so if it comes back in the shop make sure you pick it up then. And what you can do with these, a lot of people don't know, is that if you actually line up your foundations just right, just a millimetre above the floor, you can actually glitch them inside the domes. So therefore you can actually have different types of floors inside your foundations of the greenhouses. And I think this is truly special. This is when you need to come to see your Glitch Master Final Render, or something that rhymes with that, so he can teach you all these fantastic tips. Remember to subscribe again if you want to see more glitches and stuff. And here we are with the kind of structure done. I wanted to use three of these domes. In fact, originally I wanted to use four, but you're only restricted to three per camp unfortunately. But something which I really love about these domes is that they kind of have like a sci-fi alien look. So that's something we're going to use in this build. And another really cool item we've got our hands on are these cement tire walls. These are really, really nice actually. I saw them in the atomic shop and I'm like, eh, I don't know. But when you actually bring them in game, they look fantastic. I really adore these. They've got lots of different variations. You can stack them. They're really, really cool. And then I just went ahead and put down some more foundations to have some grass area and some stone areas. And this is what we have got. We got ourselves a little compound which is surrounded by these glass domes and it looks really, really special. And now I wanted to have kind of a nice barbecue and bandstand area. So we're going to build our own little bandstand with some cool new instruments, including a theomin, which are really, really cool. Those are the instruments which go like, ooh, wee, ooh, from like the 50s horror movies and sci-fi music. Very, very cool. And of course, we need to go and put some power, so we're going to hide a generator behind there. It's really nice that we can actually have a little bit of area behind the back to hide things. But of course, as I said, we're also going for like a sci-fi theme, so I had to put Final Render's giant red rocket in the background. Final Render's big red rocket always explodes on stream. And we also now have a brand new satellite dish. This is actually an animated satellite dish and it looks really cool actually. It makes noises and stuff and it's very very trendy thing to put in your roof. And also we've got extra little bits of tire things here with cement in them. And you can use these to kind of build little tables and little chairs and stuff. They look very very cool. Along with some other special decorations which have some cool like bears and more West Virginia kind of things. And also another set of new things. These are some new grills. These are actually very nice girls or grills, sorry. And they look really, really good. And they are animated and they work as crafting stations. But of course, next to the barbecue area, we decided to have like kind of a nice tranquil place. This is almost kind of like a romantic little area over here. A nice little decorative garden with some nice plant life, some seating areas, just so you can kind of chill out in the sunshine up the top of the mountains in West Virginia. Because if you're in West Virginia, you probably like the mountains. You probably love them in fact. So we're going to have a nice little seating area up here where you can enjoy the mountainside. And we're going to light it all with oil lamps. These oil lamps don't require power and they look gorgeous. Especially at night when you can just see nothing but the orange hum of these oil lamps. They look truly fantastic. And also some quirkier final render touches like having a gnome on a flamingo. Because that's what we do around here. We put boys onto birds. They're fantastic. 
And now we're going to use one of our domes to build a workshop area. The idea is that every dome will have a unique function. In this case, first one we're going to build is our workshop area. We're able to squeeze every type of workshop in here and it is very, very cool indeed. We're even able to put lots of stashes in there so we can actually make it look like a busy workshop. The only thing I regret about this dome is that maybe I shouldn't have gone with this lovely marble flooring back here, this lovely tiled mosaic flooring. Again, that's only been the atomic shop once and it was only in it for like three days so I'm very happy I bought this mosaic floor. And now we're going to move on into kind of a living room area. This is a place where you can sit down, watch some telly, maybe have some food. If it's raining outside, you can bring the stuff from the barbecue inside here. And we're going to actually make different rooms by changing the floor patterns. It actually is technically possible to put walls in here. We're going to touch on that a bit later, but for now we're actually going to have different pieces of floor in to make different room layouts. And here I am going ahead and squeezing a chair under a table. If you want to get a chair under a table, put a rug underneath the chair and then you can control the rug and slide that under the table very easily. Another fantastic glitch trick from Final Render right there. And now here's an amazing one. If you get two rugs and then you get a floor safe, you can put a terminal on there and it glitches in perfectly with this desk here. So if you've ever wanted to have a terminal sitting on a desk, that's how you do it. Fantastic glitch tricks right there. Go ahead and subscribe for that fi fantastic glitch trip. Go on, it's amazing. And now we just need to have some nice little tables and stuff just to decorate the place using a lot of these new flower packs that we have got inside for Lad76. Really adore those flowers, and I say that completely as a heterosexual man. They look amazing, those flowers, and I adore them. And now we're going to make a little bedroom area. And this is where I'm going to kind of play with the idea of building inside here. Now, as I said, it is possible to get walls attached to these foundations. However, regular walls and even some of these ones do glitch outside. So you've got to be okay with that. And you've got to build a bit weirdly. You've got to build like triangular walls and stuff in order to get it to work. But it is possible to have a tiny little room section in here. Maybe if you lined up the flooring just right, maybe you could get other walls in here but for now this is the best I've got. I was trying to get stairs and stuff inside there but honestly there just wasn't enough height. Again I'll try it later but I decided to go and build a little bathroom area in here. A little bit of privacy so that you can go and poop in private and spend as much time on tinder or whatever it is that you do on the toilets nowadays you youngsters. And now we're just going to have some nice seating areas, a nice bed, maybe you know like some alarm clocks and stuff like that just to make a little sleeping area. Now me personally in real life I would hate to actually live inside a glass dome. It would be awful, you know, people can see you in there changing and stuff like that. See you doing all your private things. I don't want that at all. But it looks glorious and I love it. And now using the last bit of camp budget, I've got a nice welcome sign so people know that they are welcomed in the camp. So here we are with the build fully done. Oh my golly gosh, this is honestly the most beautiful camp inside Fallout 76. Absolutely guaranteed, all your money back, but this channel of course is free. So go ahead and subscribe. Oh, I'm really hitting it today, aren't I? But yeah, this is a fantastic little build and I absolutely adore it. The greenhouses combined with the location makes a really nice view. It's kind of like an infinity pool, you know, when you're down ground level, you just see just empty space across the cliffs and you've got these fantastic little sci-fi looking domes along with some of the other alien decorations like the posters, the satellite array and also the rocket. This almost could be like a little science observatory if we didn't have as many pretty decorations. You could take these glass domes and make a kind of like almost like a Fallout 4 Institute theme or something, couldn't you? You know, you can make like a hardcore scientist base, which I think is really cool. But since this is Final Render Channel, we've gone for firm and fruity, just like me. And something which I really adore about this is the fact that we've got all the different types of AstroTurf and all the different kind of plushies and stuff to make the place look cute, and I adore it. But of course, it is still functional as a camp. We've got some shops inside our workshop area. We've got all the workshops themselves, plenty of stash space. And I always ensure that these areas are unlocked so people can go ahead and come and use all of my workshops. No trouble there. You're welcome to go ahead and use them and admire everything in this camp. And I think it's worth admiring, if I'm honest. We've got lots of nice reskins on some of the workshops. And we've also just got a lovely location that's very near the missile silo. So there actually is a reason to come here other than just using my shop. And here we are with the living room area done. This is a bit simpler, this living room area. Not too much clutter, but we've got some very cool things in there. And as I said, glitching that terminal into the desk is honestly one of my finest hours. I think that's fantastic. Not many people have done that, but I think it looks really, really good. And of course, we just have a nice little relaxing area as a whole. We've got our idiot box. We've got some nice tables to put stuff on, like all of our drinks, and just put our feet up after a long day of working. And the lovely, lovely sky above us really does set a nice mood for just chilling and relaxing. I think it's fantastic. 
And of course, here we have our bedroom area. Not actually that much here. The idea is that this area is a bit more private, even though it's made of glass. But you know what I'm saying? Not as much in here. We've just got a simple bed. We've got a piano in here, so you know, you can serenade your lover with a bit of Elton John. And you can just come in here to do all of your private stuff and hopefully not have too many of your friends coming in just to admire the camp because it is absolutely beautiful. But I do think there's some nice things in here as well. We've got some clean flags, we've got all the plushies which I absolutely adore, some of the topiaries, some of the cardboard signs, and something which I really love about the way the Atomic Shop is going is that we're also slowly starting to get more stuff with functionality. And I really think that is what makes a really good item worth something. Like this statue here does explode if you interact with it. And stuff like that I think makes your camp really, really fun. And also we've done a really good job of hiding all of our wiring behind all of the domes. So in theory you don't really see any cabling throughout this entire structure, which I think is brilliant. I definitely don't want cables going all the way across. If you want to, you can watch the entire live stream of this build. And originally I did have cables going everywhere. But I definitely tidy that up because I don't want any real visible wires at ground level. But overall, this is honestly one of my favourite camps we have done so far. So thank you very much for watching guys. Remember to check out all the cool Patreon people in the description below who have support the channel with their financial donations. You of course can also do the same. The Patreon is very important to the channel. It helps keep the atoms coming in. It helps the internet connection stay alive. It pays my editing software. So it's a really good way to support the channel. And of course you can also become a YouTube member. Level 3 members now actually get a very special behind the scenes video along with all the other benefits of being a member. So thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.